All right, guys, what is up? And it's actually been a while now since I've done my last commentary that wasn't, uh, I guess, a live session. It's been about, I don't know, what, three weeks, something like that. So um, I wasn't really taking a break. I've been uploading videos. They just haven't been commentaries. But <clears throat> it's nice to be back. It's nice to actually sit down and do one of these since it's, it feels like it's been forever when it really hasn't. But, you know, I do like to do them more often than not. And uh, a lot of people think that, you know, some people are in this for the wrong reason and that I don't really want to get into this topic but you know I, I'm here because I'm enjoying what I do and I actually do enjoy posting Call of Duty videos now people are gonna be like yo Chris did you see the Black Ops 2 trailer yes I did what did I think about it it looked pretty good it looked a bit crazy it looked like a bit much but it looked good now what you have to keep in mind is that most of the stuff in that trailer is pretty much just going to be campaign now like you saw the horses and like all the helicopters crashing and like all oh, those weird electronic things and all that crap most of that's going to be just campaign now uh i don't i i think they're going to be releasing a multiplayer trailer at the uh call of duty xp or at least show you some gameplay of multiplayer not much just a bit but will i be buying black ops 2 Yes, I will be buying, buying, buying Black Ops 2. Uh, I like Black Ops 1, and I do think that Treyarch is the better Call of Duty company, in my personal opinion. Black Ops is actually my favorite Call of Duty to date, and I, if Black Ops 2 is anything like it, you know, I, I'm sure I'll be quite happy with it. So, the one thing that I kind of wanted to talk about is the time error that's supposed to be set in. It's 2025. Do I think everything is a little too futuristic? No, not really. Uh, within the next 10 years, we're going to be having technology, something like that. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a bit different. It's We haven't really had a Call of Duty like that. We have Modern Warfare, which is supposed to be modern date warfare. But, you know, from what I've been told, and I actually saw a video that Call of Duty put out that was... Uh, you know the technology is supposed to be increasing a lot so we'll see how it is personally I'd, I'd really oh I think it's gonna be really interesting to see the upcoming trailers and promos that they're gonna be releasing for this game because I think it's gonna be uh, something different something fresh and hopefully something good not that Modern Warfare 3 was a bad game I still like Modern Warfare 3 I'm still playing a lot and that actually leads me to my next thing is that you guys know I've been 10th prestige level 80 for a while for the main reason that I've already been to 10th prestige 10th prestige 80 once before and I reset my stats probably not the best option but you know it's done it's over with now what I've been doing is staying 10th 80 for a while I've been staying 10th 80 for about I don't know the past month or so and I decided to prestige and I said to myself you know what I'm tired of being level 80 I want to be the max level I always go to the max level in the call of duties so, you know what, just because I've already pressed each 10 times or set my stats doesn't mean I should just stay at 10th. So, I decided to press each. Now, it's not really a big deal. I did lose uh, most of my, well, all my stuff, which, you know, I was a little upset about because, you know, I had quite a few things. But, it gives me a reason to play the game again. And I found myself the past couple weeks, um, since I haven't made a commentary, you guys wouldn't know this. I found myself not playing Modern Warfare 3 at all some days, which, uh, you know, there were, I don't think there was a single day during the year that Black Ops was out, or at least more than one day where I took a break from Black Ops, so that shows and tells you something, but I do, uh, I am playing Mo Modern Warfare 3 daily once again, it is a good game, and I feel that now since I have something to work up to, and, uh, you know, that I have to level up once again, I'm playing the game more. And, uh, you know, I guess it's kind of just giving me something to do. So if you're hesitating to prestige or you're staying like a level 80 or something like that, you know, it's it's up to you, really. Like, it's your own decision. But, you know, I, I like prestiging. It's just kind of like what I do. And when Black Ops 2 comes out, whatever the next prestige is, you guys can expect to see me there pretty quick. I'm trying to gonna... When that game comes out, I'm going to try and be within like the top 100 people to be the max prestige, which is pretty good considering I still have school during that time. Which actually makes me think, I think I was within the top 100 people to reach 10th prestige on um, Model for 3 because 
Uh, when I was on the leaderboards, there was only, for, well, this was on PlayStation, there was only about 20 or 30 of them, so there wasn't very many people that were 10th. And, uh, I did it pretty quick. I think I got it, I got it before Christmas, that's all I know. But, uh, one more thing, what was I gonna say? I was gonna add to that. I don't know what it was. But anyways, uh, my live comm session will continue. I have recorded them all now, and, uh, I think I still have one more episode for Call of Duty 4. In case you guys are wondering, I did skip World at War because World at War is a hacked to shit game on Xbox, and that's the console I have World at War for. So, I refuse to play World at War for right now, and I know they're never gonna fix it, so you're never gonna really see World at War gameplay from me. And I don't really think people wanna see World at War gameplay, but... I don't even think people won't really want to see COD 4 gameplay, but I'm going to post it anyways because it's my channel and I feel like doing a live session over it. Some of you guys probably don't mind it. Some of you guys are like, hey, I'd rather watch Modern Warfare 3 because this is a new game. But, you know, I like to mix it up a bit sometimes, put out a bit of a different variety than just Modern Warfare 3 all the time. And uh, just because I don't post as frequently as some other commentators, I guarantee you I play the game more than them because I'm sitting at about close to 22 days played on Modern Warfare 3. So, just because I'm not uploading it, you know, doesn't mean I'm not playing it. i am got a fair amount of time on this game, that's for sure. And watch me die for the Moab. Oh, almost rage quit. <laughs> Classic Chris Stewart, hovering over a leave game, but never leaves the game. So, uh, yeah, like I was saying, the uh, live comm session will probably be up within the next mm, day or two. I want to let this video sit out for a bit so you guys have a chance to watch it before I put my live session out. My live comms don't really get as many views, probably because I do them over old games. Uh, my last Modern Warfare 3 live session didn't go uh, over too well. I don't know what it was, but uh, hopefully you guys don't mind live sessions. I'll probably ask to um, like leave a comment or a rating. At the start of the next video, if I remind or for if I uh, remember to do that, if not, just maybe leave a comment in the section below if you guys actually don't mind the lives. Um, what was it? Oh yeah, right. If, if I sound a bit tired right now, I'm running on about two hours of sleep, and it's about 1:30 in the morning where I am, so I should be sleeping right now. But instead, I was like, you know what? Let me get this commentary up before I go to bed because I need to upload some Marvel for three because it's been way too long. And I need to put up a commentary, but actually hopefully you guys enjoyed. I believe the final score was like 34 and 1. Not bad.